Hey everyone, my name's Pupsker, and today we're going over conservation in the Cambian Drift, or just pretty much easy sun token farming. So this is Sun right here. If we look in his wares, he has the Trank Rifle. You need this to hunt, no shock there. I would also pick up the all of these Echo Lures. I'm not too sure if owning the Echo Lures affects natural spawns in the open world, but I would pick them up anyways. And then these are just glands that increase the spawn rate of the rare variants of these when used on the hunts. And then all of this stuff is other stuff in relation to like the vulpophilas and the predocytes. But we're not going over that, we're going over simply conservation hunting. So conservation hunting is what you need to do in order to get sun tokens. As you can see, whenever you hunt something, it drops one tag. Uh, it doesn't matter how well you hunt them, just because there's like good, bad, rare, etc. All that matters is that you actually... Gotta pick that one up. Actually end up picking up the creature. Other than that, like he also sells little plushies with the Cryptolix tags and the, uh, the all the other tags. And... He sells tags, I really wouldn't bother buying any of these though, as usual. So let's go over how to actually hunt conservation. It's pretty simple, like don't worry, it's it's really not that hard. Oh, I'm just turning myself around here, sorry. It's really not that hard. All you need is a rifle, and there's multiple ways to do it, so we'll go over that. It's, trust me, very simple. Okay, so method one is as follows for hunting. It's, it's pretty easy. Equip your Trank Rifle, because then the open world actually spawns these uh, hunting tags. Now this is, in my opinion, a bit of a slower way to hunt, but it is the traditional way to hunt. So let's start tracking. What you get is, okay, it's going to be a Cryptolix. Click that. Once you do that, and yes, you do have to have the rifle out, pretty much, uh, while clicking the dung and all that. So you just follow the trail. It's pretty easy. I'm sometimes really bad at these when it's darker out, especially like in the Cambian Drift. Oh, this one was really easy. And then you simply find the Cryptolix call point. So I need to equip Cryptolix Echo Lure. And then this is where you would use like the third slot, the glands, to get a rare one. And if you wanted to, but it's definitely not necessary. And in this case, I can't even do it. But if you need the rarer tags, I would recommend doing that. From there, simply equip the Echo Lure. So, with, when you have headphones like I do, the, the sound comes from the direction that they will spawn. So it sounded like they would come from around here. And you just have to click it once. And then this part you have to follow along this bar on the right end. And then the Cryptolix will spawn. I do not know where they may spawn, though. Or where they will spawn. I know Cryptolix are like small little guys. There they are. So as you can see, they glow bright orange, and you can see that through walls and everything. It's pretty great. So that is one capture done. That That's the basics of captures. Important things to note, capture targets, they blink like that, and you can see through them, through the ground and everything. Rip, sleepy dude. They will make a beeping noise, so if you're in range... You won't hear the beeping now, right? Scope in, you hear the beeping. So if you ever hear beeping, it means there's a capture target within range. And then, boom, just simply capture it. And then we get the burrowing Cryptolix tag. Perfect capture, easy, easy. So that is how you do a traditional hunt. Um, how I like to do hunting, and this is why I have like 50 Vulpophila tags, is I simply do this, get in my Arcwing, pull out my Trank Rifle. So the annoying part, see? Oh, the fun part I should say, is you look, once you hear the beeping, for the orange dots. See, so much easier than a traditional hunt. Just because everything spawns around in the open world. Uh, the Lossopods are like the K-Drive equivalent of like creatures. They spawn 
anywhere around the open world as well, but they do not show up when you use your hunting rifle, but you still shoot them and then capture them. If I can find a Velocipod, I would actually go over that, but I'll just hunt another creature. So simply, this is how I tend to fly around. Um, it's pretty goofy, so that's why I usually have the mini-map out like this. It helps, though, if you know spawn points. I'm not great with spawn points. And I honestly don't pay too much attention to it. Boom. So we can see people spawn right there. And they spawn in groups, so it's important to note that. These guys usually take two hits from the rifle. I don't know if that's intended or not. But there, there you go. Now I got three Vizier Predacites. So that's how, in my opinion, the fastest way to farm up. Just general conservation tags. Usually it'll be the common ones, not the rare ones. So I'd recommend popping out those tags if you want to do rare hunting. Now, one last thing I have to go over is you have to... Oh god, oh geez. You have to farm up these Avichias to get... I believe it's rank, yeah, rank 3 with the family, right? So I'm just going to quickly go over a really easy farming method. So the way conservation spawns work is as long as you get about three hops away, they'll despawn, and then if you come back, they will respawn. So if you know general spawn locations, you can try to farm certain types of conservation targets. The one we're going to farm is Avicias. They spawn around here. So if you hop in, pull out your rifle... Nope. The Avicias did not spawn, instead I got this spawn. As you can see, like, multiple conservation targets spawn in multiple areas. So this is just one method of speed farming. Find the spawn method of one certain creature. <laughs> and just spawn farm it to death like this. Uh, it sounds like everything here is dead. Yeah, no beeping. So then you just fly away. Right? You just fly away. And then you fly back. I think that's far enough. Sometimes it's hard to tell. Oh, and now Velocipod spawned. Okay, so these guys, like I said, they don't show up. Oh, perfect. They don't show up on this radar, right? But you can still spawn them and capture them. I don't actually think I have a ton of green Velocipod, so that's, that's really useful for me. The Avicias, Avicias? Oh, even a Cryptolix spawned over here. So as you can see, the spawn rates in this area specifically, right around the Cerebra Magna, yeah, Magna, in my opinion, very good spawn, uh, just spawn farm location. As you can see, nothing else. So we'll just do this one more time. Because that's, that's just the general idea around hunting. So as you can see, it's really not that hard. I don't think I ran far enough away. Oh. Oh, and then these Pharaoh Bros. Avicias are like the flying bug type creatures. They usually spawn, I think, spawned around here, some spawned around there. When I was farming earlier. Oh my god, stop. <laughs> no scope. No. Oh, did I did I hit it? I hit him, but he's not going out because he needs two shots. Okay, we got him. Yeah, so that's just the general farming. Realistically, do hunting however you like, but that is just one of the more, I guess, effective methods, in my opinion. You can spawn farm any location. There are some that spawn right in the starting area here, so you can always equip a Trank Rifle, look out here. Oh, there's something somewhere. Yeah, see, that's the one annoying part, is when you're not quite sure where something is, and you can't find the orange beeping. Or I guess orange flashing. Oh, there they are. Um, As you can see, they're all the way in there, so I think that means they're in here. Yeah, there's a spawn location in here, FYI. So hunting targets do spawn in here. 
<laughs> I know, it's so goofy. <laughs> I love it though. So you can actually spawn farm the spawn and you get Sly Vulpophilus. Uh, I think some burrowing cryptolix, or I guess just cryptolix in general, spawn a bit outside. Like there's tons of hunting spawn locations. So do that however you please. Now let's see the amazing loot that we got from this hunt. 10 out of 10 would recommend. The only initi the issue with open world farming is you'll get a lot of Vulpophila and Predacites if you just fly around. If you stick to one location, you'll probably get a decent amount of uh, mix, as long as it has a good spawn variance. So yeah, that is my hunting guide for the Cambian Drift slash Necrolisk. I hope it was useful. I think I went everything of that over everything that I could remember, at least all the strats, so I hope y'all find that helpful. If you liked the video, remember to subscribe. Uh, you can join my membership on YouTube, which is like like $5 a month? I don't know. It's some weird thing where you give me money for some reason. There's a join button below. Uh, expect nothing from it, so only do it if you have money to burn, etc, etc. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.